Hi guys, what we're going to be cooking today is a beautiful mushroom ravioli. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay, for the ravioli filling, I've got a shallot and finely dice it. Now for the mushrooms, you can use any mushroom you want. I've got an assortment of mushrooms. I've got some oyster, I've got shiitake, I've got baby bella. But use anything that you want really. Then what you gotta do is just roughly chop it for the filling. So it looks like that. Okay, get a pan on a medium heat. Add a touch of olive oil in. Add your shallots in. Add your mushrooms in. Add a touch of salt. In. Also, I'm adding garlic to mine, but also you can use um, garlic powder. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to smack it and take it out of the shell and just finely chop it. So, garlic in. And what you really want, you want to get the maximum flavor out of these mushrooms. Some water is going to come out of them, and then just keep on cooking and cooking until it evaporates, and that's it. Beautiful. The smell in this kitchen is absolutely beautiful. You got olive oil, you got mushroom, you got garlic. The smell of heaven, beautiful. So now what we're going to do? This is cooked. Um, the water's evaporated. We're going to take it off the stove, and we're going to add some more ingredients to it. Okay, so put all the ingredients in a bowl. Okay, I'm going to add some roughly chopped parsley from the garden, just coarsely chopped parsley in. Next, some beautiful chives. Chives in. Some grated nutmeg. Mushrooms love nutmeg. It's a classic. A little bit of lemon zest. Not too much. Also, some nice fresh parmesan. And just a drop of cream, just to bind it. Then just give that a mix. And put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Okay, to make pasta, really, really easy. Uh, don't get intimidated by it. I'm using uh, flour, I'm using egg, and salt. That's it, that's all you need. Um, I'm doing 100 grams per one egg. So if you're making it for two people, it's 200 grams, two eggs. Okay, so make a well in the center. Add your egg in the middle. And then with a fork, just work your edges round like that, gradually. And you really want it to be crumbly to that stage. And then you can work with your hands. And then pour it onto your worktop and make sure that your worktop is pristine. And then just knead it for 10 minutes. And if it gets a little sticky, add more flour. That's it, 10 minutes. Okay, that's kneaded. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put it in with these sandwich bags and put it in the fridge. Also what I'm gonna use is a pasta making machine. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you don't have to use one of these. You can use uh, a rolling pin and roll it out to whatever you want. But I'm gonna make my life a little more easier and uh, these are fantastic. Get one. Okay, this has been chilling for like maybe 15, 20 minutes. And what I wanna do, I just wanna roll it out. Get it really nice and thin for the machine. So now it's rolled out, just scatter your work service, a little bit of flour, rub that in. Okay, so if you're using one of these pasta making machines, um, I've got the highest setting, which is six. If we're making pasta in the restaurant, it's normally at 10 but I'm gonna start at six. So gradually add your pasta and just roll it gently in there. The next change is set into five. Then just roll it again on five. Now I've set it to four, then just gently put it in there. Now it's at three. Now it's at two. Gently just roll that in. Okay, so that's your pasta. It should be very thin, very smooth, very nice. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna shape it. Okay, so get a pastry cutter and just shape it into circles. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so now get your mix and shape it into a ball. Put it into the center, push, get some egg wash. And with your fingers, just go around the edge like that. Next, get your top, 
put it on there, push down, push one end to the other end, and then gently just squeeze the air out at the edges, very, very gently. And with a fork, just gently push it at the side. And now we're gonna boil these, beautiful. Also, when you're cooking ravioli, add a little bit of olive oil, it protects it. So olive oil in, and literally cook your ravioli for three minutes. And then once they're cooked, just literally slide them onto a paper towel. Okay, for the sauce, very simple. Olive oil, in, shallots, in. Mix that mushrooms, in. And then just sweat these for like five minutes. Mix that garlic. Mix that stock, in. And reduce by half. That's reduced by half, and as you can see, that stock's intensified, and all the mushroom flavors come out of there into the stock. So now we're gonna add some chives and some cream, beautiful. So chives in, drop a cream in, and then bring that up to a boil for one minute, and then we'll serve. Just look, how mushroomy and creamy that is. Absolutely beautiful. So what we're gonna add now is some basil. We're gonna chiffon out some basil, beautiful. Basil in. So there you go guys, that's my uh, mushroom ravioli, perfect for valentines, absolutely fantastic.